right through again. Look at, we're ringing that right through there. That is sick. They're going through that pillow now. Awesome. Oh, I just missed this here. I hit him in the shoulder there. See that? <laughs> Come on. Right at the muzzle here. I don't want to get too close, but look. They're going through again, guys. Holy smokes. All right, I am excited to show you the first ever working Crossman DPMS SBR with an electronic solenoid. That's right, 50 volts using lithium ion power and a nine volt to run the circuit. Check this out. Oh, look at that, not working. That's right, because you got to turn it on first. Now we're ready to go. <laughs> oh, I love this. Check it out. I'm just going to give you this shot here because it's so cool. Oh, this is so awesome. Look. So I haven't decided where to put the switch yet. I'm not sure if I want to put it like uh, old school um, or if I just want to put it kind of futuristic with a button like this or put the switch up at the front here so when you're holding the rifle, you can push the button. Awesome. Now I'm just going to move this over a bit just to show you that I'll get another shot in there. Check it out. See that head shot? I go through so many BBs now because all you have to do is just push a button, right? Like, look at that. Two shots just like that. Right now, it's semi-auto, but I am making another module that will go in between this, allowing me to set it up for full auto. And what I'm going to do is put the potentiometer right in here so I can adjust the rate of fire with the potentiometer right here. There is the solenoid. So 50 volts firing my electronic solenoid inside here. I'll take it all apart and show you how I built this when it's finished. So one of the cool things about this setup here is I'll be able to control everything in this rifle now. No longer, I no longer have to worry about the mechanical spring. I can control it with an electronic solenoid. If I want to speed things up, well then I just go and change the oscillation of how fast I want it to um, basically push this button here. and. This is wicked. I'm. This has probably got to be the coolest mod I've ever done to any of my rifles or anything. Now I've put an electronic solenoid on my 2240 and it worked really good. I posted a video on that. 500 FPS, no problem. That's why I know this one will easily do 500 FPS. And I was shooting a .22 from that as well. So this is a stock magazine in here right now and it's actually causing blowback. So the CO2 is actually being wasted and not focused out the muzzle. So once I do that, this will be well over 500 FPS if it's not there already. Because I haven't done any chrono tests because I just wanted to get this fully working right now. I'm really excited about this. It is so cool that I can just power it on by pushing the power button here that I've worked inside there. Those are the wires that you see coming out here into my transistor MOSFET controller, 50 volts. This is also my thermal mag so I can um, heat up my CO2 inside here. And that'll actually be using another 32 volts off of it here. So I've got another controller for that as well. So there you have it guys, the first functioning, first ever Crossman DPMS using an electronic solenoid. So stay tuned for the next video, guys, where I show you how I convert from a short barrel rifle to a 20 and a quarter inch barrel. It's actually not that hard of a mod at all. So I hope you like this video. Share, like, subscribe. Give it two thumbs up because it's the first ever Crossman DPMS SBR with an electronic solenoid. Again, <laughs> I love it. Man, that is so awesome. I'm just going to turn it off here so I don't accidentally push the button. And I'll show you here. Now with that off, we're safe again. So basically safety feature. I plan to put a couple more safety switches in here just to make it safe because really just tapping that button is so easy. But there you have it guys. CO2 powered with an electronic solenoid in the Crossman DPMS. Stay tuned for my next video when I show you how I 
convert this from a short barrel to a 20 and a quarter inch barrel. Thanks for watching, guys.